Here's a test up, not so test up update. As you can see, 0 .3, 0 0.03 production coming from the wind turbine. The inverter is actually staying on because it has the five minute program delay. So it stays on in a basically a hybrid mode or hibernation mode, I should say, uh, during the low winds. And as you can see, it's only 41 volts, 0.1 amp. So that is actually producing power and it's going to the grid slash to my house. As you can see, it is spinning away. That's with the 4K generator on there. So that's a lot of torque. So if I could get this down to a 2K generator, it'll work probably a lot, lot better. So, but you're gonna see a change. I'm going to go to a three bladed uh, vertical here in the next week or two. And then uh, we're gonna see some results from that to see wind speed wise. Uh, my anerometer, of course, is inside the house reading and recording the wind speeds. As you see, it's dying out right there. But as it kicks on, the inverter, you see how slow it's going? That, in normal pace, would shut the inverter off or the inverter wouldn't stay on. And it's down to 39 volts, 38 volts. It's very minimal. Even with low hand speed, it goes over 30 volts, which is nice. 37, so it's maintaining in the 30s. Uh, somebody who would want this, Again, this is not a test up because I took the original blades. Uh, thanks to Colin and those guys were suggesting some different guys take the blades out. So I did double the blades and there we have it. 32 inch diameter, 17 inch spread between the wing tips of the blades. Solid aluminum band uh, riveted to each wing tip. So it's in place and that's basically what we're stuck with. Again, if I had a smaller generator, you can see it's picking up now. If I had a smaller generator, 2K, that probably would have been a lot better and have less torque on the center axis and allow it to produce more power in a sense. So we're going to try that and we're going to post this for now. But yes, I beat the uh, Tesla fucking piece of junk crap they sell. The original spun at 35 miles an hour winds when it came through here. That was it. So startup speed is not acceptable at 35 miles an hour. So. That's what you have to do to modify it. If you happen to have purchased one of these and hope to God no one does, spread the word wide and far. Do not purchase Tessup at all. Let's put them out of business. And that's what you have to do if you did. So feel free, comments, man. Send them my way.